Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm joined by the former quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. And we'll also hear from Aaron Andrews in a bit. Today's game is brought to you by EA Sports and ESPN. We've got the Marshall Thundering Herd and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. One of the grandest, one of the loudest, one of the most intimidating stadiums in all of college football. It's the Horseshoe Ohio Stadium, and we're almost set for kickoff. Give us a sense of how their offense works. For this set, it's all about mixing things up. They're going to try to strike a balance between the run and the pass, and that keeps defenses from getting comfortable. They have some really versatile players, too, guys who can run with the ball or catch it. That only makes them that much harder to stop. For Marshall, a lot's going to depend on how well they can contain this quarterback. Well, this guy can beat you with his arm, but he's also very quick. I wouldn't be surprised to see him take off today on some designed runs. Now we head to midfield for the coin toss and remind you that today's game is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter.
top corner. Come on, guys! Come on, guys. Oh, stand up! Woo! He is set to kick this ball off, and we're just about set to get the second half started. Receiver, and that's a they're changing the play. He's on the run, going long, and he's taken down at the 17 yard line. I'm not sure the defender even saw that pass, it was lobbed so high. Great concentration to haul it in. He may have changed things up here. Just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. T to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. And now we take a look at the drive summary. Kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. the ball and they recover their own and he's tackled right away this pass there but I don't think he saw the linebacker they're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here he really got a hold of that one and a goes all right there now let's hear from Aaron Andrews on some injury news what do you got for us Aaron thanks Brad I've observed down here on the sidelines he's having trouble lifting his arm above his shoulder. So while it's only being called a bruise, he's still feeling constant pain in the area. This injury doesn't appear to be significant, and he will return to the game. Guys, back up to you upstairs. Thanks for the update, Aaron. That's the end of three, and get ready for an action-packed fourth quarter with this game all tied up. Something right, solid coverage. It has the distance, and it's right down the middle. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. He's ready to kick this one off. My eyes are open wide by the way and he's taken I made it through the day this last I watched the world outside by the way I'm leaving out today I just saw Haley's comment she was
17, Ohio State, 14. Time to enjoy another look at Reese's Perfect Play of the Game, brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Herbie, what do you got for us? Coming into this game, it was a toss-up. Both teams could have been predicted to win, and no one would have blinked an eye. So the fact that it came down to the wire wasn't necessarily a surprise. Ohio State played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Well, this young man is our player of the game. A donation of $10,000 will be made to the school's general scholarship fund in his name. Thanks for being with us for another NCAA Football 11 matchup. I'm Brad Nessler saying so long for Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreit.